Hello and welcome to what we hope will be the first in a series of videos looking at uh, palliative care in the community. My name is Dr David Plume, I'm the Macmillan GP facilitator for Central Norfolk and also the Macmillan GP advisor for London East Anglia and South East Region. My name is Elizabeth Stallwood and I'm the Macmillan CMS for the community and for the end of life in Norfolk. What we want to talk to you today about is setting up a syringe driver in the community. Now there are two main types of syringe drivers circulating around in the community, the MS-16 and the MS-26. Now the main difference between those two syringe drivers is the colour, one is green, one is blue, and the rate at which they deliver drugs. One delivers drugs as millimetres over 24 hours, and one as millimetres over an hour. And this can be confusing, and I'm afraid it has confused some people in the past. There are different protocols that are coming out which will explain what you use in your area but we thought we'd do this small video just to show you what they're like and how to set it up. Now I'll show you all the component parts one by one and then we can put them together. First of all you might like to have the um, Andrew Dickman book about the syringe driver with you. You'll need to have a prescription, a valid prescription for your drug. This is a chart that we're beginning to think we might use. You need to be able to check what is in your driver, so you'll need a syringe driver checklist. You will need to have a label and you will need to have the following pieces of equipment. A variety of syringes, some to draw up and others to actually use in the syringe driver. We use a 20ml syringe or a 30ml syringe. You'll need to have a needle to be drawing up the drugs that you might want to draw up. You'll need to have the carrier solution, the dilutant, and you'll need to have the drug itself. And you need to have, um, we carry small um, subcutaneous injections just in case you might want to give a stat dose before setting up the syringe driver. If you're called to a home and you want to give something to allay the symptoms straight away. We use this safety intima to, to use as a cannula going under the skin which leaves, as I'll show you in a minute, just a small silicone um, tubing rather than the piece of um, sharp material there. A pair of scissors for taking off any of these um, small um, gate closures so because they need to come off the, the tubing. Something to measure it with. A sharps box and a container and an extension lead and a cover for the um, tubing going into the skin. Now we come to the actual drivers themselves. And you'll remember that David mentioned there were two drivers. The MS-16, which is blue, and it gives so many millimetres per hour. We very rarely use this now, and most of the authorities are phasing them out. The one that we're using much more often is the green MS-26, which, as you can see, says how many millimetres you're giving in 24 hours and I'll show you how to measure the millimetres that go into the syringe. Both of them have a perspex box but also if you have a patient you're a little anxious about you can have a locked box and put this into the locked box so that they can't tamper with it. If you have a patient that you want to walk around with the syringe driver you can put them into one of these carrier bags like that and it's easy to put over the shoulder. Those are all the component parts that you need to set up the driver. 